Hey YouTube. So Creality got back with me, got the package. So this is what they sent. So they sent me a new uh, Sprite extruder, it looks like. And then they also sent me a wire harness. So I'm gonna be working on putting this uh, all together and uh, We'll see if this corrects the issue. So, uh, thank you, Creality, for for making it right. Um, and uh, let's get working on it. All right, I got the cable. We're gonna replace the cable first. So to do that, we gotta take this back plate off. Have the printer on its side. So we gotta remove one, two, three, four screws, and then the two internal gantry nuts or uh, screws as well. And that will allow this back plate to come off. So we're gonna do that now. All right, I got the plate off. So, had to remove the four little screws, two of the gantry screws, and then there's little tabs here that you gotta watch, you know, and kind of bring it this end forward and then out. So, but yeah, and then here's those two nuts that are mounted to the, the bottom of the panel that I was referring to, and that's why you gotta take the gantry screws out. Anywho. Got to remove this main wire harness. So we're gonna disconnect it here and then look at what it's, I gotta get a flashlight, but it looks like there's some zip ties we gotta cut to get it out. And then there's a little clip here as well. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. All right, so I got the new cable in there put a, another zip tie, gotta cut that. Um, put the clip back on and then gonna feed the cable up and over or up and around. So now I'm gonna put this panel back on and uh, get it back on the table. All right, so I got the new cable ran. Um, one thing to note is this bolt that goes up to the gantry. Uh, that little clip that you clip this to the extruded aluminum on the inside. You gotta make sure it's up away from the bolt hole because otherwise it's not gonna align. Lesson learned. Now we're gonna get it on the tabletop, rerun this uh, main harness, and uh, get hooked up. All right. We're gonna disconnect it from the head. There we go. Undo it from the channel there. And then where's two drive clips we gotta take out. One. Might be a little challenging too. Okay. Get that out of the way. We're gonna bring this one up. We're gonna connect it. This one doesn't have the little harness label where it says to put it in the clip, so we'll have to look at that. But let's grab these. I will plug those in because it's kind of challenging with one hand. All right, got both of them connected. One, two. Also, I want to make sure that the it's not really too strained on these smaller cables. So I put this here, extended the head all the way over to make sure that we had enough slack, and I got everything uh, hooked up, I believe. 
we're gonna power it up to see if uh, I still get the same issue with the head or not. I'm curious, so let's see. All right, we powered it up. It's doing its uh, auto calibration. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna bump up the Z a little bit. And then I need my little filament teaser. So we can plug that in there, make that. Then what we can do is get it fired up here. So we'll go to manual, preheat it. We'll get it preheated and uh, go from there. All right, we got preheated. So let's go ahead. We're gonna see what it does. We're gonna go to, ready? We're gonna go in and out. And then, oops, I think I clicked the wrong one, sorry. We're gonna click it. There it is. All right, guys and gals. Looks like we had a wiring issue. So that's a lot of the common threads uh, in comments. So thanks everyone that put a comment on. But yes, uh, looks like that's what our issue is. So this cable was definitely, it needed to be replaced. So that looks good. So everything's working properly. Um, so definitely was the cable. When we take a look at this cable, I mean, there's a lot of, it's bent pretty good. That's where it was installed down at the, the printer. So onto the board itself. I mean, that's glue. Oop, sorry, that's glue. But I don't see any, I mean, there's some twisting going on. So, I don't know. This end looks pretty good. I guess it would help if I show it in the video, but uh, I guess we'll give it a try and uh, we'll go from there. All right, we'll load some filament and we'll do a test run. went ahead and we did the aux leveling or manual level so I'm gonna have it go ahead and do another auto level just to make sure everything's good and uh, we'll get printed Not good that's why calibration cube all all the sides sorry there we go so there's Z and Y is X so turned out really really good so I kept wrapped on I forgot I had that setting on, I was doing something else last time I used the sprinter, so, well, holds it down. 
feels up really nice with this PEI sheet. So, um, yeah. So we're back in the business. We'll do some more prints. We'll do some comparison videos with the uh, Anacubic uh, Cobra Plus. And uh, once again, thanks Creality for uh, sending me the the replacement harness and the uh, the head. But uh, we definitely found out that the the problem was within the cable. So. Uh, thanks again for watching the video and uh, please like and subscribe for more.